Hello, good evening. Oh, there's tassels everywhere. This this one's to the gown. This one's to the thing, and they just stick out. Hello, how are you all? I'm well, um, you know, it's Friday night. I've had a good day at work. I bought things. We'll talk about that in a minute. A uh, quick shout out to um, Geeky Poet, who um, not only has watched yesterday's video. But actually left a nice comment, so thank you. I appreciate that. And I know I always thank you in a comment, but I'm thanking you again. There you go. Um, I was... So I bought things. And you know how I like to try and be creative. I'd seen a magazine in one shop where it comes with like a, a crafting kit for, you know, like uh, materials to make a little dachy. That I shouldn't have, it's like a, a sewing specifically magazine. Um, but I couldn't find it in the shop I was in today. Um, I saw it and I didn't have the money for it, that's why I didn't buy it yet. Um, but I saw this Molly Makes, it's a fairly eclectic um, magazine of uh, crafty ideas. And I, um, I've had it before. With this one, I usually go for whatever the kit is on the front and then try and work out if I can do any of the other stuff inside. And there is some, there is some fun stuff in here. There's some, it's a very pretty, pretty paper actually. Um, so for scrapbook or whatever. So there, there's some interesting projects and ideas in here, but like I guess I'll go with the kit because at least it gives me doing something. And in this case, the kit is um, here. It's a very tiny, tiny other thing. Well, that's not too bad. Um, just trying to see if there's a bigger picture of it in the magazine. Da -da -da. Oh, there you go. It's a bit better. Like a, a festive, loomy, fluffy, woolly thing, um, which I have started making. Um, it's kind of no pr real precise measurement, so I'm just kind of winging it. And I guess the the good thing about this is that once I've made the the thing, like you take this string off and you've got the thing, I've still got a loom. You know, it's got the like the divider thing and a nice plastic needle, so I still have like a mini loom. So if I feel inspired to try a different, either like this pattern but different colours or just something else I've seen, I now have a little wooden loom. So that's handy. Um, but that's not the really exciting thing. That's not the really exciting thing. The really exciting thing is the hat. Yes. Um, so there's, I, I get the My Little Pony magazine because I'm an adult and I can do that. And for a while they've been advertising something called the Cutie Mark Crew. And I'm just like, oh, it's adorable. I want it. So I found them in store a couple, few weeks ago, actually. Uh, and again, I've got a bit of money and so I just treat myself. And um, I, I bought them. And basically it looks like they've got like three different sets that you can buy, which have like four and a mystery character. And then you have these like mystery pods, which I've lost the outer cardboard for, but it's like a, a little round pod. It's quite cool because you've got the moulding on it. And then um, you get a mystery character in there. And the pods, so yeah, you get, so there's, I think it's three, three sets of these five, you know, four in a mystery. And then you get like 24 other ones to collect. So yeah, I'm going to try and collect those. And um, should we have a look? Because they're adorable. So obviously that's the pod that the thingy came in. And with that, I got a little ice cream cone. So my little character sits in a little ice cream cone. But which character is it? It's Cadence! And with the, can you see the sparkly hair? I think she might be like a rarer character. She's like the top of the list. Um, but you can see, she's on a little heart stand. Like, I, they gave me a little heart thing, but I couldn't work out what it was quite for because she fits in her basket perfectly. It doesn't fall over. But um, I'll just suck it, that's what it lose it. So there's Cadence. And then I'm just grabbing them in the order that I'm finding them. Cadence has fallen over. We have Dashi, who has action hair. But it's um, Mer Pony. They're all Mer Ponies, by the way, in this particular collection. So we've got Mer Pony Dash. Look at that face! Look at it! Um, very much movie, you know, sort of slightly cuter, rounder 
features. And then we have, oh, this is, this is Dashi's shell, which is very pretty. Um, where's that UV actually? Oh, where are you? Hmm, well, kind of. Yeah, it's probably a bit bright for you, but yeah, looking at it just, um, from me, the, the, the pink goes really pretty. It's probably not showing up very well for you, but yeah, it's it looks like it's quite funky under the UV. Actually, so does um, the Cadence's thing. Sorry. Um, ooh, okay. Pinky's hair, definitely under the UV. Sorry, it's kind of hard getting the angle for you guys to see it. But believe me, that is very, that is very disco. Um, so yeah, sorry. I'll stop playing with the UV light now. Um, so yeah, there is Pinky, who is waving and being very friendly and loving her curls. Very well moulded. And we have the fabulous darling, um, Rarity. And she was the mystery character in this box. Uh, so we have a very cute Rarity. And we have very adorable. I love the, the few things she's doing with her hoofs here, which is kind of all you know, and thing. And as I've said before, I relate to Fluttershy because I was always the shy kid at school. I, I had trouble sort of, you know, expressing and doing things. Uh, and last but not leastly, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we have Princess Twilight Sparkle. And like I said, they're all the um, mer pony form. That face, look at that little mouth. Look at that little smile. smile? And yeah, her hair's quite wavy as well. So, um, I'll go find Cadence in a minute. Oh, there she is. Uh, excuse me. We found Cadence. The princess is fine. The babu still has her mother. Is your babu? Uh, and we got... Pinky came in a boat. Um, Twilight came in a little castle. Flutz came in a seashell. And Rez came in this little... A floaty? We go with a floaty. So there you go. Um, that's the my little pony QE Mock crew that I have collected today. I will probably collect more. In the meanwhile, let us find. Where's my book? That ain't good. Professionalism. Who's moved my book? Is he tied it up again? I hate it when he ties up. I don't find anything. Um. Doom, 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 doom. Never tidy. Never tidy. I can never find anything when you're tidy. Oh. Okay, normally I make sure I know where my book is before I start these things because normally it's there. Why is it gone? Oh, this is not funny. Hang on a second. You. Oh, yeah, you are. It's alright. I know I'd seen it. Ugh hide it behind the computer. Ugh. Not in front of it. Also proof that I'm wearing pants today, so there you go. You're welcome. That's why am I sticky? Ah, I found it! Question. I hope it's a quickie because we're already on eight minutes. Um Let us see. Oh, okay, that is kind of a quickie I guess. What is one thing you haven't tried but you just know you'll be good at? Um there are lots of things I haven't tried and I can't think there's anything that I know I'd be good at. Um, like, I'm, I'm, I've loomed, like this, this here, I've loomed before. Um, like, you know, at school, did, like as a project, I can't remember what it was, I don't even know where it is anymore. Um, I don't think there is anything I'd necessarily be definitely very good at. I mean, maybe, okay, not professionally, but, um, oh no, because I have done karaoke, I did alright there, people seem to like it. Um, we have a, a trampolining place, I mean, might be good at trampolining, it's, that's the thing, it's like saying, everything needs practice, everything needs knowledge to do it first like you know learn how to do it. everything's learning and i don't i mean 
Okay, all right. Here is something that I have never tried, nor do I ever intend to try, that I'd probably be very good at. And I think, arguably, everyone would be very good at on their first trial. And that is jumping from a very high place and falling to my death. Because anything else requires learning, requires practice, re requires putting in some kind of effort. Um, even something as simple as picking up a pencil and drawing, uh, drawing a circle. Because you're never going to draw a perfect circle. And I, I draw quite a bit. I draw quite, a quite often. And um, right. here we go. A bit of paper. Oh, I'm going to use a pen. We're going to commit to this. And I'm going to... Obviously I'm going to have to do it down here, but... That is not a perfect circle. And I, I have had reason to draw circles more, uh, you know, before. And it's quite slightly wobbly paper. And I'm doing it on my knee. But I would argue that there is nothing that you can do that you're going to be perfect at straight away. Except jumping off of a high building or place and falling to your death. Because I think everyone will have to do that straight away. So, um, I hope you appreciate looking at my tiny cute ponies. And, um, sorry the answer was a little bit morbid, but what would you say to that? I know, I'm genuinely curious. What would you, what answer would you give to say, you know, oh, I can, if I, do, if I try this, I know I'm going to be perfect at it. Really? I mean, I know it says good at, but... I know I can't... I, I, I learned to play guitar, but that was a process. Learning to draw is a process. Everything's a process. Except jumping to your death. Don't do it. Serious time? If you've got something going on that you might contemplate actually going, you know what, that would be good. At least this will be something I'm good at. Please talk to someone. Please. Um, so, yes. Anyway, on that kind of don't try this at home kids note, uh, I will say good night. I will say thank you for watching if you have been. Appreciate it. You're awesome. And I will say I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!